Hello ladies and gentlemen. This is how we're going to set up the Church of Legacy Life. Here is the audio card. And you see all the wires. Well, first of all, we take each wire off to see where it goes. Now when you see these wires, each wire has a little thing written on it. And this is the the main speaker. And the main speaker is that little guy there. And that little guy there, it sits on pole. Doesn't matter which one you put it on, doesn't matter. But that's a main speaker. Now you just unravel the cord and you just run it up till you hit the plug it in speaker next. Next thing you know, you see all this stuff on the back. First thing we'll make sure is this thing here is set to 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, that's one thing. Next thing you want to use external sub, vocal or boost, okay, and just leave it on the power. That's all you got to do, and make sure this is set to line, down arrow to line. You take the little plug, and you plug it right in here. This guy right here, that's where you plug it in. That's all you got to do to set up these called main speakers, as you see. And again, here's another set of wires. And what we're looking for, what it says? It says right here, monitor key. So that plugs into the keyboard monitor, which is the, the speaker, which is on the floor. That's a keyboard monitor speaker. The reason why it's a keyboard monitor speaker, it's near the keyboards, and it's one of the floor speakers that we use as a monitor. Now we're going to run that wire in the back of that next. Here's the keyboard monitor speaker. Just say, so get a look at it. Okay, we're going to swing around the back, and this is the back of it. Now, back here, that's where the power plugs in, what you're looking at. Over here is the other plugs. So, you want to plug it in, either one's fine, but I usually put it to the top one on top, which is closest. And you'll see there's a little See, there's a little mark here, and where that goes, it goes right up there. Clicks right in, just like so. Closest to the display, and you just set these things right where it's supposed to be. We'll get back to that in a minute. Okay, again, another audio wire for the keyboard monitor. Here's another wire. This one is for the keyboard mic. It says keyboard, key, mic keyboard microphone. So we're going to hook it up to where the mic is on the keyboard, but first we got to put up the, one of these little stands. Here's a microphone stand, and the keyboard mic's going to go in here, which we're going to get next. And we just run the wires across the stage, and that's how we do it. Now we're going to get the microphone, which is in here. You can use any one. I like using the Shure mic for the keyboard singer, the Samson. There it is. This is the on and off switch. Always push it up so it's in the on position. And I'll show you how we hook it up to the keyboard mic stand. As you see, you have that same little connector bottom. And you just plug it in like so. You connect in just like so. Push this right in. Don't have a camera operator, but we have to show you with one hand. And then you slide the mic right on into here. The mic attaches right in there. It slides right on in there. Okay, again, make sure it's on. And then if you want to take the cord, you can wrap it around here. Like so, so the wire doesn't get in the way. There you go, and they can adjust the height of the mic. Our next wire is the keyboard, the main keyboard. You see how it's labeled. And since we've got two keyboards, this will be our main keyboard, because it's the one that we always have. So what we also, we obviously you can't plug it in there, so we have to have what's called a direct box. Let me bring that up. Let me show you what a direct box is. This is called a direct box. 
see how you have a connector there for the line and then we're going to plug keyboard into that using another wire now we're going to plug this into the direct box again the same little thing plug it right in there snaps right in like a glove it sets on the floor now we'll get the next wire for the keyboard the wire that I was looking for is the East Little wire this is a called a quarter inch wire and the reason why because it's quarter inch diameter so you plug this into where it says headphone output you plug that in there and of course you take the other end and you plug it into the direct box where it says in you have an in have an out you want to plug it to the end because it's taken from the keyboard into here and out to the cell and always make this at zero it's a little switch here set it for zero db that'll make the keyboard be the loudest this is called the sub first thing we want to do is make sure that it goes on the floor now as you can tell it's on the floor we're going to plug in this wire to give audio to that now back here looks kind of similar but this one leave it all the way up to the max we want to get the most volume out of it and then here you want it on deep because it gives a real kick sound and just leave it on reverse and leave that up where it says power power reverse and deep and we'll plug this in again to this left hand side this connector like so and now this wire it's not like the others it's a separate wire so we don't bother with the sound card for this because what we're doing we're going to get the audio from the main speaker it could take it from either one but we're taking it from this one because it's closest to it and right here which is line out it's going to get the power or the audio signal from this to the sub and again you plug it in very simple very simple so now we got the audio plugged in for the sub again another wire off the cart and this one says says drum monitor now we knew that those little speakers that's the keyboard monitor and over there that's the drum monitor we call it the drum monitor or the vocal but that's the drum monitor we're going to move that back we're going to run the wire to it so now we're running this wire again we're going to run it to the speaker again we go ahead plug this into here just like you did with the other ones pretty much identical this is the drum monitor and this wire is vocal mic channel 11 VOC that obviously hooks up to a microphone like we did with the keyboard and we're going to use a mic stand again we pick up a microphone of our choosing and we'll pick this one up and we'll see how that's going to work we'll plug that up again there's a switch make sure it's up so it's on that's the on position always leave it like that and of course we're going to plug the connector up into the bottom like so snap it's in there and then we take the mic and we slide into the little groove and we are done and you could tighten up the mic stand like so that's one vocal mic here's another main output and you notice that mains will have the purple tape so it makes it a little bit easier to know that's going to be for the big speakers are hanging on poles again it's called the main right up there that's the main we're going to run the wire again to that and you'll notice the wires ravel we just unravel and walk it around and again here's another speaker here and now of course we remember to turn it to nine o'clock nine o'clock 
In fact, you get a line straight up with the arrow. That goes in there and there, okay? Again, we want it on line. We want to use it for external sub, focal boost, and power. Again, we're going to plug that right in there. See the three little prongs? They go right in there. And there you go. Our next one is called auxiliary. Now this line goes back to the sound booth or the people who run the PowerPoint or the Easy Warship and the sound. This is where when they play music, this is where it's coming to. We'll just unravel it and walk it back. Let's walk it back here. Right now we don't have the laptop or anything. So but we're just going to leave the wire hanging right there so therefore we're ready. Now this next one says instrument, guitar instrument. Uh, we're probably not going to have a guitar, but the beauty of this, we can use this for the keyboard because it's an instrument line. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing we did with the first keyboard, the main keyboard. We're going to use it for the second keyboard. So again, we just ravel the wire out, drop it right here. And we get what's called a direct box again. I don't know if you could see it, but in this bag we have all the laptops for the media booth. And there's a direct box right in there. Very familiar, another direct box. That's what we use for the other keyboard. We got a direct box. Plug it in here. And we plug the cable into here again where it says in make sure that's at zero again that side switch all the way to this way because it's zero db again maximum audio output from the keyboard that we plug this in the keyboard but we may have to unravel that to make it reach again we had to unravel here's our quarter but remember that was the guitar instrument Normally I plug this into the electric or acoustic guitar, but we're going to use this for the keyboard. Again, another little sign that says phone output, plug it right in there. And we have another one, it's called the bass guitar, where Ted or whoever plays the bass would just plug it in. It's a short wire, reason for it, because it's usually right by where the sub is. So we just lay that on the ground right there. We have another one. Obviously it's not labeled, it's all black, but we use this for another microphone for the singer. Again, grab one out. And we grab another microphone from the microphone thing. And of course we plug it straight on in there like we did before. Like so. And again, make sure it's up, make sure the audio is on. And we have microphone stand. We just go ahead and slide that baby right on in there and there you go if it's about to lean or fall over you can loosen that little up slide it back a little tighten it up there you go and you notice we have all these wires together these are specifically for the drum let me show you you'll see this says kick that's for the kick mic which goes where the kick drum is this goes to the snare, this goes to the tom, and usually the drums will be around so you drop it where they usually go because they're not here. And this is the overhead, overhead mic, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we got a mic stand for the overhead mic, positioned here. Now we got to get the special overhead mic. All right, now you've seen where we had the mics here. They're the singer's mic. But over here, this is the drum kit. See all the pictures? This is the drummer's mic. So now we got, this is a kick mic. It's nice and fat. This is the overhead mic. Make sure that's on like I showed you. This is, keep it either be a tom or a snare mic clips on the drums but again the drummer will clip that on there and then we have another identical microphone 
gang will be used to use for snare or or tom. And I'll show you how to hook these up. We look for the wire that says overhead. And again, we just plug it into the back like every other microphone. Just plug it right in there. Clicks in, nice and solid. And then this little keyboard, this microphone stand, has a very narrow little clip. Very important. Because when you put this little guy in here, it's going to clip in pretty snugly. Just clips right in. So, because usually when we have the mic, we have it face down to pick up the hi hat and rides and all that. And of course, we'll want it nice and tall. Again, we can extend it and we tighten this up nice and tight and there it is that is for the overhead so it could pick up the sound from the from the crash cymbals and all that next we're going to the kick told you this was kick mic we get the wire it says kick again we plug it in falsely again right in here and listen for the magical click here's the click and now it's in and we'll find a little stand for that minute again we'll put the this is a tom tom you put that right on in there click it in I think by now you got the idea how to click these babies in very simple and over here is the snare where it says snare, you plug it in there. Because the snare is going to be sitting on this side of the platform. Now we got that clicked in. Again, to review, the drums go sit in the corner. Got the kick, the overhead, the snare, and the tom. Your job is done because the drummer knows how to clip them onto the drums. Okay, so we got the drum set up. Got the keyboard set up, and we have one more mic stand. We'll give this to the other keyboard singer. I gotta know, if you can't find anything labeled, it's okay, because we'll just go, to go ahead and put a microphone on there, and then they can figure out from the mixing board which one it is. We'll show you that later. We get another microphone. It's a little battered, little went through the hills but it still works again we're going to plug it together like we showed you got it plugged together and we're going to put up this microphone stand like so slide it in there and again you can extend it by loosening that little guy move it up and we get to lock it in and you could tighten it up down here as well Therefore, it's nice and tight, and the tall singer can sing it and have his mic. Now, we don't know which channel it's on, but when they do the sound test, I'll show you that. Now, at this point, we hooked up all the audio cables, but everything needs power to run. So now we're going to go back over the same places and plug in the power cables. And this box, as you could tell, has a whole bunch of power cables and I'll show you how to do that what I tend to like to do is use these little blue ends for the uh, for the mains the reason why I say that because they're real long and plus I've also tied an extension cord to them as well so we can use that so let's go ahead and hook this one up this one has a nice long extension cord we'll use that but for right now throw that there and this is the thing we're concerned about is to plug this into the power of the mains there's the main that's where the power is we plug it right on in there again you got three prongs three prongs they only could go one way 
is in nice and tight. And again, make sure the power is on. Okay. Next thing we'll do, we're going to raise the main now because we got it all hooked up. At this point, we raise the main up. And it should be about at least a foot and a half or two feet from the ceiling. And we want to point it on angle so the speaker is pointing towards the middle of the audience. I'll show you the other view. See, as you're looking in front, it's pointing towards the audience there. Next, we have the other power cord. Again, standard power cord. And when if you, if you do tear this stuff down, always leave this tied together because it's always going to need extension cord. So that saves a step of plugging these, finding, and plugging together. Just throw that up there. Again, the end. These are standard power cords. As you can see, three prongs, three prongs. We plug it in there. And again, make sure the power is on. Okay. Now, we got the three power cords. The keyboard also has its power. A little power jack. That was already plugged in when we got here. And the power adapter is, I'll show you, right down here. This is the power adapter. So you want to plug these three things together. This is where you can get anything you want, like a power power switch. Now we're going to plug everything in again. Make sure it's on. One, two. One, two. Buckle the shoe. But we got a tie, so that ain't going to work. And let me get the other wire. Actually, this is just an and we get the, the, I'm sorry, this is an extension cord. I'll throw that over there. So we got the, so we got the, the main, the keyboard monitor, and one of the keyboard plugs. I'll plug it in right there. And there you go. And we'll go hook up extension cord to also run the lights and the other keyboard power. Again, same scenario, power plug for the keyboard, power adapter. We're going to get another little extension cord for this. Remember, in these bins are all your extension cord needs. And we still have plenty. We'll go ahead and run another one over there. Brand new one out box. Standard extension cord. And we're going to plug it in from the adapter, the keyboard power unit. And we're going to run it over here, through the maze. And one, two, three, four. There you go. Now we got all the keyboards plugged in, and all in this side of the power mics plugged. Now we're going to do this side. Microphones obviously don't need power, so we don't have to worry about that. All we got to plug in is three things: the power to the drum monitor, the main, the sub, and of course, the sound card. Okay, so again, we find a nice adapter thing. This will work just wonderful. This is my choice. The reason why I choose that, because of the long cord and all the outlets. So we're gonna bring it on stage. We're gonna put it on the floor, right there. And then the power we get from this wall back here. This is the, one of the power outlets. It's right in the middle of the map here. So we just run the power line here. And now we go get power cords for the other devices. Found a nice blue one for here. Again, everything's set. Make sure you turn the power on. Drop that down there. We'll plug, we're gonna plug that in in a minute. We find our, another power plug. We're we'll gonna plug this in to the back of the drum monitor. Same procedure. Plug it in into the plug. Make sure that the power switch is on. 
There you go. Again, we found another power cord, preferably a blue one, because we like these for the big, for the for the mains and a sub. Come back here. Again, same drill, same thing. You plug it straight in, and again, make sure the power switch is on. And now, we take the power cord. We make sure that it's all plugged into the box. One. The sub, the main, and the monitor. Plugged in, and turn the power switch on. You notice how the light comes on. See that? We turn it on. That's the power switch for that. So we know we have power because we have the light. Again, we got another power adapter. So we're going to plug this in here. Because we're going to need power to we're going to need power to the the sound cart turn that on and of course here's the plug to the sound cart trace it back trace it up and there it is so we plug it right in here and we have power you see the power light, so you know you have power, and you know you have power right here. Okay, so that's work. And of course, the wireless receiver for the pulpit mic is also on the car, so we don't have to hook that up because it's wireless. Now, notice the TV set. We have to plug power to that. So we get one with not only a, the standard adapter, but it's got extension cord tied to it. So you just drop it behind here, and you'll notice, again, a three-way thing. You can see that little connector right under there. We just plug it right up into there. Then if you want to snap it onto this, then we just straighten it out and run it to that power adapter down there. Again. We plug that wire straight into the adapter there. Okay, we pretty much have everything ready to roll, but we need to hook up the media booth over here. Now, usually the little light receivers are plugged in here. Looks like our bag got a little bit soaked here, ladies and gentlemen. That's been because of the hurricane. Look at all that moisture. Well, this is low voltage, so we won't get electrocuted, but it'll be a yay or nay if it works. Anyhow, oh, another soak. This is an in ear monitor, and it's soaked. Okay. Another in ear monitor. Looks like that got soaked. Well, let's look at the more important stuff the laptops. Did they get soaked? We're going to take a look right now. Say a prayer, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it looks kind of dry. It looks like uh, very dry. It looks like the Lord decided not to get us new equipment, which is good because we got the old stuff running good. And remember, it's the gift that keeps on giving every single weekend during church. Now we're going to pull the equipment out of the bag here. Very simple. I'll show you after we pull it out. You could play. It's a direct box. We could play the sound from the laptop or iPhone or whatever. Yeah, remember that auxiliary wire we talked about a while ago? That's where it plugs into a direct box. Again, just like the keyboard. Just like the keyboard, you just plug it right in there like that. And again, make sure that's at zero dB there. Okay. Next piece of equipment we use. This is the VGA to HDMI converter. This is how we're going to have it coming out to the screen. First, you plug this into the USB port, and back here, plug this thing right into here. This is the VGA adapter, and VGA adapter right here. That's where you plug it in. Flip it around. So we get plugged in. 
don't necessarily have to screw it in. Saves time for setup and tear down. And we'll get to that in a minute. And this is where you plug in the HDMI cable. We'll do that in a little bit. This is the HDMI cable. This is where we get the video from the laptop to the screens. What we're going to do, we're going to plug it in from the TV set first. And you'll notice this little crazy little connector. That goes on the back of the TV. And as you see, when we drop this down, you're going to see this input. We're going to plug into AV and 1. This is an HDMI thing. This is number 1. So I plug it right in there. Just like so. And we run the wire down the cable. And now we just keep running this till we get it to the booth. Here's the other end. And now we're going to use this little box here. Purpose of this little box is to give two outputs so we can watch what's on the screen up front. Since we're behind a curtain and we can't see what's on the screen, we use this as a second screen so we can see identically what's out there to what's here. And this little baby makes it all happen. These are the two outputs. Okay, doesn't matter which one you use for which one, but these are the outputs and that's the input. Let's concentrate on the output. Plugged in that to one. And this, this little Dell monitor plugs into the other output. Okay, so you got two. And then the input is the last cable here. Just a HDMI cable again. Plugged one in here. I'll show you how that works. Plugs in there. Run the wire behind. And of course, plug this one, with only one jack. And of course, this has to be powered as well. So I got a power adapter. So we can put this on the ground. And we could plug this little guy up. And remember our two plugs from the laptops? Well, we have them right here. Drop them right here. And we plug that in there. It gives power to one laptop and plug this in so now we got power to everything and everything so everything's plugged in except we need a power adapter for this monitor again we have a power adapter and we plug it down into the bottom of this monitor here as you can see You'll find them three, three things again, three things again, and it plugs right in. We'll call them things for now. Okay, get it right in there, flip it up, make sure the operator could see it, and we take the power plug and we plug it in to the box again. And looky there, we have one left, one booking, and there we go. Now it's all used up and we have powered everything. Now we could turn the laptop on, power button, lighting up, power button here, turn it on, and of course it's lighting up. This takes a few minutes. There it is. Okay, we have the sound hooked up. Now like they say in the Bible, let there be light. That's in Genesis. And you know who said that. So, okay, we got four lights. These lights go on the stage, obviously. Let's go hook up the lights. Now, how we're going to do it, we've got a lot of Christmas lights. They're all connected together. Just string them out, and I'll show you in a second here. Go lift and run them, and I'll show you the details. And we're walking up on the stage, and I laid out the lights. You got one, two, three, four. 
and you'll notice that the one on the end doesn't have an extra power plug. Plugs into that one. And this one faces, so it looks at that. This one shines a light on one drum head. This third light shines a, dr shines a drum on the other. And of course, this one, again, faces, position it, so it faces the light here. And this one, of course, has the extension cord where we have enough light, enough wire, plug it right here and we're golden. So we got power to these lights. Okay. Now we didn't forget about this little guy, but we need power for this. So we plug the extension cord into that. Cause what we're gonna do, we're gonna run that power right out of that same strip that we plugged the lights into the power out. That's where we're going to plug it in, right here. Now we got power coming through and going to the mains and you see the mains where you have that little green, that blue power light? Tells you it has power because we left the switch. Turn the keyboard on. That has power. Turn the other keyboard on. That has power. Now we're going to turn the television on. Okay. Click the power button. We have power for a TV. So now we're going to test out the equipment here. Before we test out the equipment, here's another important note. Make sure when you read that screen, it says plus 5 dB. You could turn this little knob to change it. To change it, it's tough to see. It kind of got brighted out with the camera, but leave that little guy so it's always plus five dB right there. And this knob right here will change it, but make it plus five. Okay, and everything else should be set for zero and set for zero. And there you go. And we have power to that. Let's double check the other one. As you notice, that is also set. We have plus five there. Set all this to zero, zero. And again, you could change it. I leave it at plus five there. Okay. There you go. Very important. And there we go. Now we're going to raise this speaker, but because the the stand does not have any hydraulics, it's very hard to lift it. You have to literally push the speaker up, so you may not want to do that, get help. One of them will go up easily, the other one takes like a real strong effort. Now we got that moved up and turned just the way it should be. Next thing we're gonna set up is the lights in the back. And I'll show you that how to do the lights in the back. What I mean by the lights in the back, those lights. So we're going to do that now. First thing we look for is the power floor power adapter down here. Lift that up. And then we bring our light kit over to that. Then we go ahead and plug it in like so. Okay. And this is the mast. Spin the lights around. Sometimes things get unplugged. There's the back of that one. Let me adjust the camera. And then you take this little thing. Looks very familiar. Well, the lights use pretty much the same kind of cable. Let's plug that right into the back of there. Like so, we got plugged in now. Now our little adapter. We have two of them together. Let's separate it. And you'll see, this plugs in where the power goes, and you have a little power strip, and you plug in wherever you can plug it into. It's right here. And this little guy, again, you've seen that famous connector, plugs right in the back of that DMX light, just like so. We gotta push it in. 
Let's see, we push in, there it is. Don't worry about this. Not the antenna, don't worry about it. It's not gonna hurt a thing, works perfectly fine. Now we got the lights pretty much set. Let's go ahead and tighten this little guy up a little just so it doesn't spin so easily. Now we're just gonna raise it up and pop a pen in there, show you. And there you go, it's raised up. It's about like a foot and a half or two feet from the ceiling. And that's how it looks. It's ready to go. And we didn't turn on the power switch. We forgot to do that, but we could still reach it. Turn that on and the light comes on. So now they're working just fine. And you see the lights on in the back. Again, we're gonna repeat the process. This is the power wire. Drop that down. And we take this, plug it right in the back of there, like so. Snaps in. And this part, the electrical part for the outlet, we just plug in like so. Make, this time we're gonna make sure the power switch is on. Okay. Now we're gonna position it. Again, another floor thing. We're gonna to have to un untwist that with a screwdriver. Again, we got that opened up. And we plug the plug right in here. And again, we're gonna raise these lights up. You see we have power to them. We're doing good. We're gonna raise it up like the other one. We have it all raised up. Again, a little look, just as you raise up, you just stick the pin. You don't even really have to tighten it at all. It could be nice and loose so we could twist the lights. So that's fine, we're good to go. Another thing we gotta hook up now, we have power to these four lights where we gotta get the information. Now the other two lights had a wireless receiver. This one, because the wireless receiver is broken on this, we're gonna have to use this little guy. Plug this again into here. Now it's hooked up. Now we'll take this back over to the media booth and we'll hook up the light controller. That's what we're gonna hook up. This is the box of the light controller. We're gonna set that up. Here's the two things that we're gonna need. There's the power for the light controller. It's tough to do things, ladies and gentlemen, one hand. So that's why we are slow and cumbersome. So that's the transmitter. This transmits it to the lights out back. You plug in where it fits. The old saying, the shoe fits, you gotta wear it. So we plug it in there. A little humor at the side there. And we plug in a little power adapter for the transmitter. And we have that. And since the other lights don't have a receiver, we take that cable that we plugged into the lights on the stage. And we plug it in the back here. And there you go. Voila. Connected. All we got to do now is I think we used up all of our stuff. So we'll run an extension cord and run it back here. Oh, one point. The light adapter itself needs power too. Plug that in there. And comes with one of these little babies. One of these little babies. And that gives power to the light board. So there's power to the transmitter, power to the board, and data to the lights up front, which already do have power. Again, we got another one of these power strips. We'll stick it up here because we may need power to an iPhone or iPad or something else. Plug it in here. Power coming through here. And again, we plug in our this and this and of course throw the switch warden and, and there we go we got power to our light adapter now to make sure all the lights work we turn this and we just turn it all down and let's go see what lights are lit up oh whoops we've got to turn all these up. okay now let's see what lights are lit Okay, that's lit up, that's lit up, and the stage is 
split up. Okay, we're throwing white light here. This is just make sure it's electrically working. And the next video presentation, we're going to have one on how to do how to run the lights and how to run the sound, and of course to run the Easy Worship. Our next little thing is to fire up the Easy Worship. Same so do. We're just going to fire up, make sure everything's working. Easy Worship's on. And see the monitor that's lit up, and the one in the back should be lit up with the same image. See. So therefore, we'll zoom in, it's all working. Power and information. Power and information. Power and sending the information. So we know that electrically works. So we got the lights, the easy worship going. Next thing is the sound. To fire up the sound, the laptop is turned on. You just hit this, the XR Air. It says connect, very important. Hit connect. Always pick mixer to PC. Always pick that. If you learn one thing today, mixer to PC. Never this and cancel if you want, but mixer to PC. Click that. And now it's connecting up to the soundboard wirelessly, like a Wi Fi. All the data's loaded up. Now we have control of the soundboard. Now, we can unmute and this will be another lesson for another time but then you want to test make sure everything's working again that's a lesson for another time so at that uh we are set up for the media we are ready to rock and roll one footnote we have plenty of power cords that never fear of running out we got more than enough and we got a lot of audio table data cables as well and of course this is the pulpit mic that we're going to leave out.